military insurance policy? In other words, that the government had a contract with Prudential to, uh, to provide this insurance? Correct. Correct. Greg Kiesling, have you also joined this lawsuit? No, I have not. I've just, I'm hearing about it for the first time here this morning. Well, Kevin, on this issue, it's just getting uh, play right now, it's just really becoming public. Um, what has the insurance po uh, company responded? From the little bit that we've seen, they've responded that this is common practice, that they have done nothing wrong. And as Joyce and I were talking, um, if this is truly common practice, then that speaks for corporate America, then we're in trouble. We are really in trouble. Um, so at this point, what we want to do is try to get all the knowledge to all the families that we can and have them make their own decisions. But it, it's outrageous. It enraged us. Finally, uh, Greg Kiesling, um, the Obama administration, congressional hearings, they all say they're deeply alarmed by this extremely high rate of suicide, surpass the civilian rate right now, and are investigating and trying to figure out what to do. You lost your son in Iraq. Have they come to you? Have they begun to talk to you? What do you feel um, the Pentagon, the Obama administration, uh, American society needs to do around this issue of soldier suicides? Well, for four years in a row, we, the military suicide rate has set a record. And each time, military leaders have come out and said basically the same things, that we're trying to get our hands around it, we're trying to get more uh, mental health treatment to the soldiers, we're trying to destigmatize uh, reaching out for help. And that's how, what the president said in his speech earlier this week. But the, the actions don't match the words, and I think that the the words are not filtering down to the, the rank and file, and there are good people. Uh, Admiral Mullen and General Chiarelli are really working hard. I believe they're committed. But I think you need to have the president lend his voice to this uh, in a much stronger way, a and uh, the Secretary of Defense and other top Pentagon brass to really come out forcefully on this. Because in that same speech, the president said that there was a uh, a sacred trust, a moral commitment to the soldiers and their families. And in our case, we really feel that that sacred trust and that moral obligation has been broken. We're not asking for a lot. We're asking for the simple acknowledgement that our son was correct in joining the military and serving his country and trying to do the right thing in betterment of his, of his country. And uh, the, that silence now for over a year uh, I think speaks a lot to the, the true commitment to try to really reach down deep and to address this issue of mental health and soldier suicide. And we just really appeal to the president. The only thing that I can figure is he does not know this is his policy, that for some reason it's not gotten to him. Because I just can't imagine President Obama knowing that there are families like the Lucys and ourselves out there, and, and hundreds and hundreds more families that are sitting here and not getting that sacred trust and that moral obligation uh, shown to us by the Commander-in-Chief. And I think it's time for him to address this issue. Well, I want to thank you all for joining us. Greg, give our regards to Janet, your wife, and we will link to the conversations we've had with both of you on Democracy Now! Uh, Greg and Janet Kiesling uh, are the parents of Chancellor Kiesling, who committed suicide June 19, 2009, while serving in a second deployment in Iraq. And Kevin and Joyce Lucy, thanks so much for being with us again. Um, their son, former uh, Lance Corporal Jeffrey Lucy, hanged himself June 22, 2004, after returning home from Iraq. We will, of course, continue to follow this story. This is Democracy Now! When we come back, well, today is the 65th anniversary of the bombing of Hiroshima, the launch of the nuclear age. Stay with us.